Okay, this video is Blood Sludge Movie at Dr. McDougal YouTube channel. And the reason I'm showing you this is, this is the McDougal uh, movie. I'll put the link for it uh, below in the description to this video. Is that I'm going to give, my next talk is going to be a much longer lecture about hypertension. Um, and hypertension for beginners. And I, and I think if you see this video first, everything will sort of come to life for you a lot faster. So, uh, it's just called Blood Sludge Before and After a High Fat Meal. Uh, eating a fatty meal. Uh, basically, you've got red blood cells. Normally, they're about 7 microns in diameter. Uh, capillary is about 5 microns. They have to deform to fit through the capillary. When there's a bridging molecule, something that sticks the red blood cells together, so if you stick them together, imagine these are red blood cells, even though they're green, then they're going to be bigger. It's going to be harder for them to get through that capillary. Typically, the capillary is only 5 microns. Red blood cells about 7 microns. So, again, it has to deform to get through there. When it's all bulked up in a sandwich-like configuration because of bridging molecules sticking them together. It is harder for those capillaries to get through. Um, things that are bridging molecules are IgM antibodies with an acute infection, LDL cholesterol from high cholesterol, fibrinogen, the clotting protein, acute phase reactant increased with stress, uric acid increased with meat, also increased from eating a lot of high fructose corn syrup type stuff. The higher the LDL cholesterol, the higher the blood viscosity, meaning the thicker the blood. So what it comes down to is when you eat a lot of fat, you're pumping thicker blood, like a milkshake, instead of pumping water. And this little video, video here uh, with the link below in the description, it's going to show you how it all sticks together. And that's why you feel kind of sluggish after if you eaten a meal when you were younger at a greasy spoon. So anyways, well, I'll give you this to watch. And then uh, when I go through the hypertension lecture in much more detail next, everything will make more sense.